Hi guys, welcome to today's Lab Space Project. Quarantine or not, it's always fun to send things flying through the air. So today you will need one water bottle or one soda bottle, one Pringles can with the bottom cut out so it's just an empty cylinder, and five rubber bands. And kind of make the rubber bands all about the same size. So we're going to practice tying the rubber bands. You're going to Hold them so that you have an empty space right in here. Take this one and put it in that empty space and pull. And your rubber bands are together. And then you take the next rubber band, hold them together so there's an empty space in between. Put the yellow in the empty space and pull. Now we've got three. Let's do it again. This time we'll do a blue. Put the two rubber bands together, take this end, put it in the empty space, and pull. Now we have four rubber bands together, and one more, and empty space, and pull. So you might want to pause the video and get those done. Then the next step is to find the center of those rubber bands. So mine is yellow. You'll have one in the middle and two on either side. And you'll take that middle one and wrap it around the lid of your water bottle until it's nice and tight. Okay. So this is another time when we're going to use elastic potential energy. When we stretch these rubber bands, we give them the potential to do work using elastic potential energy because they want to come back. That's what they want to do. Take the flat end of your water bottle or soda bottle and slide it into your Pringles can. And then take one end and wrap it around the end of your Pringles can. And take the other rubber band that's hanging down and wrap it around the end of your Pringles can. And now we'll just... Kind of Oops, my rubber band broke. Let me try again. All right. So that might happen. I have five more tied over here. So I find the middle and I wrap it around my lid. And get it so it's nice and tight. And then slide it into my Pringles can and take one of the rubber bands that's hanging down and wrap it around the side and take another, the other side that's hanging down and wrap it around this side. Now we want to make it tighter so we're going to go over it that way. We're going to do that same thing with the first one that we put around. Wrap it around your Pringles can. There you go. And now Ah, so when we pull back on the water bottle, we give it elastic potential energy. And, let's see, let's make a paper wand. Let's put our paper wand into the end of the Pringles cup container and pull. And the paper wand goes flying across the room. Works even better with a ping pong ball. You might try a tennis ball and see if you can get enough elastic potential energy for the ping pong ball to work. But um, it's a, a lot of fun to play with. You can try to have, if you have two of them, somebody can shoot it and the other person can try to catch it in their Pringles pan. You can see how many times you can keep that going. Hope you guys have fun. Slinky here says goodbye and have a good time playing with your launchers. Talk to you soon. Bye.